Stay black in America. Don't leave. Don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Today I'm gonna talk about a UFC fighter. He's uh from South Africa. His name is Drakus Drakus Plesky or something like that. Uh, he's uh was talking about he's a true African. Uh, uh other than uh, Sante or, or or Uzman who were born in Nigeria but raised elsewhere. Uh, he's he's stating that you know he's uh he's all all an African uh young fellow. Well, you know just because he's white. Can't discount him on that. He was definitely born in South Africa, and he's probably spent more time in Africa than all those men combined. Uh, he didn't have to leave Africa to find greatness, because uh, his African South African nation is pretty much controlled by white folks anyway. So I mean, apartheid was voted in in 1948, you know, to legally uh, treat people harmfully, you know. But uh, but those uh, those uh, those white descendants of Germany and uh, where Germany and and and, and the Dutch and the Netherlands and uh, where else? Uh, uh, up in Europe, those European folks, man, they've been in Africa, man, probably since uh, 1652. Down there doing something, uh, business, trying to uh, uh, take money out, out of the soil, trying to find a way to make something, make a living. So pretty much, man, they just went over there and took over, uh, took over South Africa. So when apartheid ended, and uh, you know we got our we got our great president over there. Um, White people still control things, uh, still control the money. Over there now, when uh, YouTube is going to visit, you got beautiful, rich, white neighborhoods, uh, beautiful homes and living wonderful lives and wonderful malls, and you still got black people living depressed, poor, and, and little huts, and not living very good, and crime written, and all that type of stuff. So, you know, clearly, uh, white people have always been able to go somewhere and, you know, study, study, study everything first. Let me see what we can do here. Study your, your weaponry, studying how you do things, and, and take over. That's just one, that's pretty much what the what the MO is. I mean, if you look over here in, in America, I mean, came over here and uh, he had almost 140 million Indians, man, and took it took it took a while. It took a good little while, but then you got most Indians on reservations. Uh, probably 95 percent of them were killed out. I mean, you know, murdered out. A lot of them who helped those pilgrims came over here, helped them survive those winters and. Hey, good relationships. Well, when the next crop of white people came over, oh, well, we don't like those folks. We want fences and property, and we don't want you to come on our property. The Indians used to roam in all over the place free, and I have no barriers to stop them. And these white people came with, no, nah, that's my land. I own that. I pay for that. Or I got that free, or whatever the case is. It was their land then. So, you know, then, then, then the battle was on. But then they knew uh, your food source, they knew the weapons you were dealing with. They almost knew where you stayed at. They spoke a lot of, uh, a lot of Indian languages. Man, you was pretty much uh pretty much done for it. So uh, you know, that's what happened. So this 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 uh this young white fella, he was I think he was born in nineteen what is he? He's a pretty young guy. He's born in uh January the fourteenth, nineteen ninety four. So he's he's uh I mean he's not he's not his baby, but he's you know, he's like twenty eight or so. So uh, you know, he's he's got uh he's got his own point of view, uh to 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 to, to be absolutely uh, absolutely right about it. Oh yeah. He's a straight up African, you know. I saw one of them. He like he got a suntan, like almost like a burn straight, up, white burn, white straight up African. So, you know, he had his little little um, high school little little coat on, or college little jacket on. You know, he put your letter. We got your letter jacket, whatever like that. Seems so like Americanized, man. So uh, that's what he is. Uh, if he wants to draw with fight and fight Izzy, man, and make a bunch of money, great. It'll be good for the UFC. Be good for fighting. It's like Conor McGregor. We had all those, uh, all the, uh, all the um, Irish guys, all the Irish guys, women falling behind him and, and, and having big fights and big exciting things. This fella uh, looks like he's very strong. He's like he's physically fit. He's been fighting says all his life. He's got belts. He's won over there in South Africa. So look, I always look forward to seeing great entertainment and great fights. So I hope Dan and White does this thing right. I hope that that fella uh, continues to win. Uh, Kick some butt, and then uh, I'm sure I'm sure that it'll it'll, it'll cause a stir. You have a upflowing of South African people flocking to see that fight. Hopefully, they had a fight in, in South Africa that they can flock it in and see and cheer for them, man. And rah rah rah, and a whoa whoa whoa, and all that kind of stuff like that. So, uh, look, good for boxing, good for UFC, good for sports, man. So, look, stay black in America, though. Subscribe to my channel and give me your comments about this. But uh, white man got got he got. <laughs> He got the truth. He has been born there. He lived there. And he didn't have to leave nowhere because he has his great life over there. He don't have to leave somewhere else because he's poor or he's destitute or is a better someplace else. He's born right there, and that's the best place for him. So 
Stay black in America. Subscribe to my channel. Until next time. Bye.